Vidura College, Grade 4, Environmental Studies, The Lesson, Man and Information. Exchanging information by speaking, writing or using some other medium is called communication. It can happen verbally as well as non-verbally. It is necessary to exchange information among people in society. Also, it is important to know what is happening around you and be updated on social, political, economic and religious matters. At present, we can get such information in different media such as print media, electronic media. Here are the examples. Print media, newspapers, magazines, posters, etc. Electronic media, television, radio, telephones, computers and internet. Here you can see radio, telephone, post and pager. When living in a group, it is important to exchange ideas and information. Therefore, it is necessary to have different methods of communication. Methods of communication in ancient time by symbols and signs by gestures, conversation, word of mouth, by beating drums, by setting fire, smoke signals, by hooting, by raising flags, by using animals, pigeons, swans, horsemen in Singhala, Ashwarohaka. Here you can see setting fire, beating a drum, pigeon and messengers. Now we are going to learn elements of communication. There are three. Here, sender, medium, receiver or recipient. The person who is sent the message is called sender. The way that he used to send the message is called as medium. The person who is getting the message is called as receiver or recipient. Important facts to be considered when communicating. First one, learn to listen when someone talks. Second one, be patient till you get your turn to talk. Third, think twice before you talk, respond. Modern methods of communication. Meetings, post service, newspapers, radio, television, telephones, mobile phones, libraries, computers, laptops, tabs, and internet. Methods of getting information Radio, news and other programs Television, news and other programs that means sport, health, cookery, entertainment, etc. Computer, laptop, tabs News, pictures, videos, file transferring, email, social media, video conferencing, chat rooms, telephones, mobile phones, video calls, voice calls, fax, sms, voicemail, social media, email, chat applications. We are going to learn modes of receiving information through eyes that means we can see them we are called it as visual through ears that means we can hear them we are called them as audio last one 
through eyes and ears. That means we can see them and we can hear them. We can use it visual and audio. Here are the example. Eyes, newspaper, posters, letters, magazine, leaflets and books. We can read them through the eyes. Then ears, loudspeaker, radio, telephone. We can hear the information. When it comes to ears and eyes, television, mobile phones, meeting, stage drama, computer. Here we can see, we can hear, we can do both. That is why we called it as visual and audio. Okay children, that's enough for today. See you soon with another lesson. Until then, please keep on studying. Thank you. Have a nice day.